guys, I'm Jeff Gaming, the only show on the internet where we are about to give you our complete, blind, unfiltered opinions on a Toze Snowbaden Sake uh, Sacred. Yeah. Let's fucking do it. Hell yeah. Down the fucking hatch. <laughs> so what do you think, buddy? It's just, like, beer. Yep. What? Why does sake taste like beer? I have no idea. It's not very good, though. Uh, probably wouldn't recommend uh, unless you like things that aren't uh, very good. Let me take a look at that bottle again. But, you know, I also never had any sake. But because we're playing Inuyasha, the game from Japan, got to try the drink from Japan yeah. during Inuyasha. Let's kill these people now. Let's see. This, uh... Here's what Snow Maiden says about itself. This sake is named after Hanako or Flower Maiden, uh, the most famous Japanese koi fish that lived for 226 years in the snowy, icy waters at the foot of Japan's Mount Onake. Uh, Ontake. Damn, how do you know it was the same fish? I have no fucking idea. I mean, I would I would always assume it's just a dead fish, or it's a, <laughs> it's a new fish and the right. other one's dead. Yes. Let's see. It, it is the it is the profile of honeydew melon. Fresh pumpkin and juicy and bright. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. I mean, I guess melon can taste like beer if you've never had a melon before. Uh. But I've had melon before. And it doesn't taste like this. I say that was way more Heineken than honeydew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I uh the the thing that stuck out to me the most about it was that as it went like through my lips into my mouth i was expecting like good or bad just like a, a strong taste some kind of burn as you normally get with an alcohol right and it tasted kind of like it, if you you know the jokes about like those flavored waters it's like a hint of a hint of something right it's kind of like that it, it didn't I didn't feel like I was getting the flavor necessarily. I felt like there was liquid in my mouth and the flavor was in the vicinity of the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, like that's pretty much what I was feeling. It was like, at the very least, I can give a credit that like, for as not very good as it tasted, it also just didn't taste, really? Yes. Like, any yeah. instant of it in my mouth was gone. Oops. Pretty much as soon as I swallowed. Because, you know, that's... That's my problem with a lot of alcohols, is they linger. Oh, for sure. But this one did not anger. Like, I still kind of got it, but it's like, it's mixing into the taste of my mouth. And yeah. this is, I'm ignore. I don't know, it's easy to ignore. Yeah, no, despite the fact that I, I wouldn't say I like that by any means. I could drink more um, of it. Yeah, I, I could see myself actually finishing this bottle, be just because I'm like, it, it's not offensive. Yeah, it's... That it, it's basically just, it's less, I don't know, less appealing water? Yeah. <laughs> like, it tastes it tastes like water where you're like, mm, I mean, there's a little something in the pipes, oh well. Yeah. Like, uh, no, it, it's it's truly interesting. Yeah. I, I don't know what I expected it to be like. The bottle's that pretty. That wasn't it. It is very pretty. It's a very pretty bottle. That's why I bought it. We looked at a whole bunch of sakes because... Never tried sake before. I was like, you know, I want to try it. I just want to try something different. Right. And uh, so we did. Right. And so that's the result. Uh, not sponsored by whatever I forgot what it's called uh, already. Tozai Snow Maiden. Yeah, not not sponsored by them. I don't know that I recommend their product, but like, if what we describe sounds appealing to you, or you think we're fucking idiots and you want to prove us wrong, uh, buy some and leave a comment about your opinion in the comments. Yeah. See, that's the thing. Is like, I don't know if we've got good sake or if we've got, like, cheap fucking dollar store sake. I'm sure it's not, like, amazing, because I think I paid, like, 14 bucks for that bottle. Best so. say, yeah. But, like, that's the thing with alcohol, is, like, if you want good, if you want good alcohol, buy the most expensive one. Sometimes. Because that usually, that's usually a decent enough signifier that it's it's up there in terms of quality at least right but then you've got the times where that's all fucking brand right and it's barely even drinkable so it's like it, it could go either way and you have no fucking way of knowing until no. it's too late not at all <laughs> and uh, because it's so expensive you're gonna regret it no matter what yeah so like, i don't know so the bottle's pretty it didn't taste very good but it was inoffensive like it just didn't linger very long it was kind of refreshing like, you think so? 
Yeah, it was in a weird way. Like, it, I don't know, it, it tasted cold. And I know you literally just pulled it out of your freezer, but like, the liquid itself was like, like, it was like pleasing to hit my tongue. Right. Kind of like the opposite of like, uh, like if you eat something spicy, you know, it warms you up even though it's not actually hot. Yeah. Um, this is like... It chilled it, you down. It's, the drink itself is cool. Um, but just like what you get from it is just like a, a coolness. I can feel yeah. that. If I if I were a Japanese salary man who had just gotten done working my third straight day in, of work uh, without going home, yeah, I work for an exploitative company. Uh, I could I could see myself having a couple of those after dinner. Some nice halibut or you know tuna. I know the tuna's really big over there. All in all, I would say that I would rank this. Uh, f solid like 5.5 out of 10. What do you What do you give it? Uh, I I feel that I would also put that somewhere in the neighborhood of like a five. So oh yeah, I think I think we're pretty much spot on. Anyway, we're playing Inuyasha. <laughs> yeah, we're playing Inuyasha, not living out our dreams of having an alcohol tasting show. <laughs> <laughs> Someday it's coming, guys. Yeah, one day. That was that was a little preview. <laughs> Hey, and hell, maybe by then we'll know anything about alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> well, then again, because that, that goes against part of my plan, because part of my plan, part of the plan for me at least when we do that is also we have to like make cocktails. True. And, and the less I, we know, the more interesting that will turn out. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Not that making cocktails is like super complicated, but there's there's certainly like an art to it. Yeah, you, you just have to know what goes together. Right. And I, we don't. We don't. I don't. I, like I know. I don't even really know of that many cocktails in the grand scheme of things, but like I know Damn. some cocktails that exist. I can't even make. And I don't know what they're made out of. I can't even make smoothies right. I got <laughs> me, Elizabeth and I bought a blender yesterday, actually, yeah. um, because we're both trying to lose a lot of weight, and so we're like, all right, let's stop eating super solid food. Let's stop. Let's move, kind of move away from that. So let's do liquid some more diet. Hell yeah! Not liquid diet because liquid diets are they're bad unless a doctor tells you to do them. That's true. Your body needs solid food as a general rule. Uh, so oh, yeah, we're here. Oh yeah, we're there. Um, so we're like, okay, well, we'll start mixing in like fruit smoothies and vegetable smoothies, um, to make up the difference on like breakfast and things like that, where we just put on unnecessarily calories. Um, so what we decided to do was go buy a blender, and while you and I were recording yesterday, Elizabeth was trying it out. And when I got home, she was she was slipping on I forget what fruit she put in there, um, but she did that. She did those fruits and a and pineapple juice, and I it was really good. And I'm like, I'm gonna go make me a smoothie, and I did strawberries and blueberries and milk, um, because that's what I read. It's like, oh yeah, strawberries, blueberries, and like you know either cream or milk, you know, tastes really good, and that was a lie <laughs> uh it did not taste very good at all um and i'm like there's just no sweetness to it so it's just mm. kind of bitter tart so i i poured some sugar into it and that didn't affect it at all so then i just drowned the rest of it in more pineapple juice so <laughs> and that helped but milk and pineapple juice, not exactly a one-to-one -one combination. Right. So I told Elizabeth, like, you are on fucking, <laughs> you are on smoothie duty from now on. <laughs> Where'd it been here? This is the this is the village that, we came from. We have, but this is where it says we should be now. Yeah, is that not the worst thing about getting into a bathtub? Right. Is when you get out, then it's cold. Yeah. Definitely the worst. All right, maybe, maybe once we spent like fifteen hours in this uh, tub, now everything's all better. I assume that healed us, right? I don't like, know what the point of that was. Yes. Hell yeah, and all of our energy back too. Hell Thank yeah. the Lordy, Lordy, Hallelujah, Amen. Anyway, uh, yeah, I, w I was gonna say, but I didn't want to interrupt your uh, your story that. Yes, this is the village that we were already in. I realized it when I walked into that house and he was talking about how no one's come from the next village over in 10 years. That's a lot. That's a long time. But I don't remember where to go. This is a new recording session. Yeah, this is a new uh, recording it, session. It's so. been a hot sec since last time. <laughs> and I thought that since we were just out in the middle of the woods last time, we'd be golden. Because usually we're out in the middle of the woods, we stop a session, we start back up, no big deal. Oh, hell yeah. Oh. Found it. Oh, that's Thank right. God. We had to bring her the fruit. 
That's right. I thought we already brought her the fruit. You did it. We did it. But it was difficult. Yeah, everything's really hard for us. Oh, calm down, Shiva. Here with any Asha. The air allowed you to have a seed. You already knew that, Grandma Cockatoo. I mean, you're still alive, so. Now, come close to me. And watch as I eat it. Oh. And now that I've had my lunch, I can help you guys defeat Naraku. <laughs> really? Yeah, I'm way stronger than that guy. <laughs> I got in shit. Any demon worth half a demon point should be able to do that. I'm 50 demon points. <laughs> if there's no barrier, we can attack Naraku. Yeah, Hell remember yeah. Inuyasha when they got some other fucking teenager from Japan? The fucking to destroy Naraku's barrier. Right. Man. So, over under, what do you think the odds are that we kill Naraku at the end of this game? <laughs> There's no fucking way, man. We can break his barrier now. That's his whole fu That was the whole show. Is I gotta find a way to break Naraku's barrier. Yeah, and then every time he found- Every time they got strong enough to break his barrier, he came up with a new barrier that was just better. Yeah. Then they gave Inuyasha the red tits, I guess. again! Woo! Yeah, yeah, he got the red tits, I broke the barrier. He immediately runs away. And gets stronger so we can put up a stronger barrier that the Red Tetsaga can't break. Which is stupid, because the whole point of the Red Tetsaga was, yeah, any fucking barriers. barriers. Well, of course we want to rest. Why wouldn't that we probably rest? probably means a day off. Hell yeah, bro. Unless this is just resting to heal ourselves, in which case it was a waste of time. Nah, bro. No, it's a day in. off. We can hang out with anybody. Well, okay, see, we I feel like we are running out of Songo stuff. Uh, I... I think we've done like four, maybe five. Four or five, and you said and there's there, like what seven? I think seven there's each? seven or eight altogether. Okay. Well, yeah, keep going Sango then. Yeah. Of course, I, I also because it felt like we weren't making very much progress as far as like. Sango is your favorite. Yes. Yes, she, she is. is. Look at her. God damn. <laughs> she even comes with a cat. I'm gonna train hard. I will too. God. I like how he sounded less jealous this time than he did last time. He's realized he's lost the war. <laughs> he's trying to be nicer so that he can wait to swoop in. Wonder if we'll actually hang out with Sango again this time, or if she'll do something without us and we'll <laughs> right. just be there for three seconds afterwards. Right, oh, hell yeah! Good start, we're actually communicating with her. Ah, shit! Ah, fucking chores! We're gonna get to work again! That's okay, I can do it by myself. We just said you that we're we going to hang you. out. Oh yeah, we're carrying her kimonos around. Hell yeah. God, we are just being put to work. <laughs> Doesn't matter who it is, eventually someone puts us to fucking work. Songo? Songo, I'm here to do manual labor. She said she was doing the laundry. Oh, at the other river. My bad. <laughs> Meanwhile, Moroku's already there putting the schmooves on. Uh, that would never happen. I don't even know what's happening, but I don't believe it. Oh, never mind. Sorry, I didn't. I say she's being attacked. No, she just thinks she's about to be attacked. <laughs> no, she is not worried about us attacking her. I'm sorry. She just doesn't want to be seen. Understandably so. Don't throw your fucking boomerang as we die. <laughs> Is that weird? I mean, I would if I was a demon slayer. If I was anybody in feudal Japan, I would have a weapon on me at all times, considering the number of demons that attack at random. Oh yeah. Because you're a girl. And now we're sexist. We just blew it. God. Only men carry swords into the bath, Songo. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? You've not been carrying that big ass fucking boomerang since <laughs> you were a kid. I was about to say, could you imagine just like a four year old throwing that thing? Like Maybe you had a smaller one, but come on now. Clearly, this was an upgrade. And what? How long are you gonna stand there? Well, I don't know. We had a, we started to have a pleasant conversation. I can't get out until you leave. Ah, uh, understandable. I'm sorry. It's fine, Sango. I have the internet. <laughs> What's that? Shit, don't worry about it. 
Definitely don't look at it. <laughs> Not that you'd be able to, you know. We did have a fun time with Songo. We had a really fun time with Songo. We had even more fun after we got home. <laughs> God, Segnutsu is a fucking child. He was gonna... There was no way he's recovering from this. No. He's like, what, junior high at least again? Yeah. Yeah. No, he... <laughs> This yes, no that hope. event just changed the course of his life forever. Let's see, are we still supposed to be in this village or should we leave? No, I think we're supposed to go back to wherever Naraku was. Gonna go fucking rush him down. Yeah, I gotta go all the way back there. God damn, it's a long walk. At least it's not gonna make us like actually go through all walk. the again. Yeah, yeah. What do you think, Inuyasha and party? Oh wow, that place got fucking destroyed. Jesus. <laughs> so dilapidated last time we were here was the village this dilapidated i think it was a lot nicer before can't really remember we were only here like yesterday but all the other houses look pretty ruined too yeah i was gonna say this was not a burglary come on now unless it was a really 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 big demon burglar <laughs> i wonder something bad happened who is responsible <laughs> to continue to sit in the castle this town will soon this, whatever you're about over. to say has already happened. Let's go. Anyway, what do you think, Inuyasha and the crew, like, when they are just kind of walking from place to place, you know, you're not, you're not sitting down to have a picnic, or you're not, you know, like, staying the night somewhere. When they're just walking around. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck. What do you think, like, are they quiet, or do you think they, like, casually talk? Because something about their group, I feel like, has a hard time just with casual conversation. <laughs> Nah, I bet they talk casually as they're wandering. What kind of stuff would Inuyasha bring up? Like, uh, Inuyasha personally probably doesn't. He's probably too busy being like... <laughs> as he's trying to sniff out Naraku and everyone else is just behind him like, Man, <laughs> did, did you see the game last night? And it's like, you have sports? <laughs> it's like, well, of course we have sports, Kagome. We're not cavemen. Only one thing. <laughs> of course, I don't know what kind of sports feudal Japan would have played. I'm not sure. Let's, let's Google that. Let's Google what... Uh, Let's see. Do that by yourself? I mean, I'm gonna cut she is a little stronger than we are. Not our whole party. Well, well, have you forgotten already? I have a barrier wrong. Oh, I did forget that, actually. I thought that was just a Naraku thing. I don't know about that. What uh, if I, perchance, got a shitty gummy, a uh, barrier bricky thing? Oh, that's fair. Uh... Looks like in Field of Japan, the, the top sports were Judo, Kendo, Karate, and then Sumo. Ah. Uh, and then if it wasn't... That's fair. When I, when I think sports, I meant, like, ball games. Right. But, yeah, no. No, they only had sense. those. And then they had Kabuki and No Drama um, for, the, for, like, theater. Mm. All right, Interesting. bro. Let's fucking fuck Kagura up big time. Oh, no, she has a barrier. We're doomed. If only we went first! Oh shit, we do! Fuck yeah! There's a special barrier breaker! There's not any not of those! There. The normal oh. tech! Blue Sky Calamity? Huh, that's a weird, uh... Well, that's the newest one! Uh, give it a shot, I guess. Doesn't take any power. Let's see what you do! Calamity go! Chaos Blast! <laughs> I think that worked. We did it, maybe! Oh, shooter! Quick ultimate full power attack! Oh, wait, that's right. Do you have uh, a, oh, yeah, a co-op with Shippo? Uh, probably. Try, try that. Oh, no, we, need, we need to use a... We need to power up our powerful guy. But the powerful guy's not gonna fight for like ever. Oh, it's gonna take like a couple guys. Come yeah, down. they're gonna fucking kill us all before then. Our only hope no, was if Shippo and Kago not. Kagome did their thing. No, it's fine. Eric, we're doomed. Calm we down. gotta flee. It's over. This uh battle is finished. <laughs> She's beating us. We haven't taken any damage. We're dead already, don't you see? <laughs> but it's okay. We can still run away from death <laughs> if we really try hard. Well, yeah, you can't pin Shippo down. I mean, 
Shippo did go into like the next life That's and then true. leave. Of course, Inuyasha and Kagome and Shishomaru all did it twice, but I mean, once is still pretty impressive. Right. I've never gone to the next world and then come back. I did once. <gasps> what was it like, bro? It was very dark and fiery and... God damn, she going nuts! <laughs> <laughs> that was the... Holy shit, that did a lot of damage! That was great! I love when stupid looking attacks are <laughs> fucking great. Uh, Fuck her up, bro. Ruin the, her. The backlash wave, but it's like nobody's gonna attack Inuyasha. They just attack at random. Yes, yeah, the backlash so wave is kind of useless. That. Really thought that might do a little more considering how much damage Sango's attack did. You might want to do the spiritual vision thing. That's such a waste of time. It, it's really not. It really is. It doesn't do literally anything. It lets you know how much health she has left. Yeah, but we're just going to do the same thing either way. Well, yeah, but Keep I, like attacking her. I like to know. <laughs> well, it didn't work. Oh, wait, now we got to attack her again. Yeah. All right, Shippo, let's fucking finish this. Fox I fire! Oh, no, yeah, fire yeah, bombs. Fire bombs! Still got a thousand HP, bro! We're doomed! See, if we had just kept firing randomly and you didn't know that she was almost dead, we would have succumbed to the panic of God, she's unkillable! <laughs> We've hit her with 50 wind scars! And what does this do? Brings the other guys back to life! I'm shocked! Yes. Yes. I will attack again, too. Oh, that's right. Because you, you, you burned all of our her. Sango energy. Shit, bro. We're fucked now. Well, who do we? Who else do we have uh, co-op stuff with? I don't know. Do we have more co-op people? Yeah. Shippo. Yeah, we have Shippo. And Shippo. And all Shippo. Right. All right. Let's go, Shippo. Let's fucking rock her. Excellent, Eventually. Shippo Skullbash. Oh, but she can't do her special attack again. Fucking... God damn it, chain attack? Fuck her up. Throw a chain out there? I didn't realize she had a fucking knife in her hand. Oh, that's her fan. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Bloody knife? She's ready to fucking take us out. <laughs> I thought she was just playing around like always. <laughs> I didn't realize this was the real deal, Kagra. <laughs> fuck, back up. God damn you. Panic. I don't need to panic. It's fine because we're going to hit her. With the Kagome and Inuyasha special! Hell right yeah! Right now! Inuyasha! Kagome! <laughs> it's very funny to imagine Inuyasha always yells her name, no matter <laughs> what. God. <laughs> I love how that's not a... 555? I love how that's not a combo attack. It's literally just him running in to finish the job. I, I know. Well, and it makes sense because it's like... It's based on something they do multiple times together. Where Kagome shoots an arrow to, like, drop the defenses. And then Inuyasha gets to finish them off with the attack. Right. But as is, it's just like, oh... They just got shot, and then they fucking... Now they're getting hit with a sword. Right. So awful. <laughs> you really want to fight? Bam! Fucked her up! And now it's time for Shippo to finish the job! Hell yeah! Shippo Skull Bash activate! Alright, ultimate Shikigami powers! Ultimate Shippo powers! That looks way cooler than literally anything Shippo <laughs> did in the entire series. I know. <laughs> Fucking destroyed her Ruined. ass. She never had a chance. She's still alive. But not Badly. for long. No. We did it. The Woo. barrier has been destroyed. Yeah, we destroyed it on, on turn, turn one, one, remember? Kind of a delayed reaction. Yeah, you, you really probably should have reacted to that, like long time ago but it's fine you'll have some time to think about it next time on, on the, the shelf, shelf gaming, gaming.